Hey guys, it's Memorizer92, and today I'm gonna cover quality of relic gears. Then let's get started. First, let's find out about crafting the relic gears. To craft the relic gears, you need the relic mat that drops either from Vulcan or Vikis. In this case, this one right here is from Vulcan. And also, you need Chaos Stones, which is a stone that drops from hard mode of Legion Raid. You also have to spend some gold as well. The amount of mat required for armors and weapon is different. If you see here, the weapon requires uh, 3 of Chaos Stones and 25 of the mats with 1k gold, whereas the armors require 10 mats with 1 Chaos Stone with 500 gold. When you craft the gear, then you'll get the gear with random quality, just like when you craft Argos gears. Chaos Stone is very important because it is also used when you upgrade the quality of the relic gears, which is a new feature that doesn't exist for legendary gears. Now let's look into the quality upgrade. If you see here, you can try to upgrade your gears. Armors require 1 Chaos Stone with 300 gold, whereas Weapon requires 3 Chaos Stones with 800 gold. So what does the quality do for the Relic Gears? Well, the quality of Weapon increases bonus damage, and the quality of Armors increases HP. The figures scales higher than the figures of the Legendary Gears. By the way, you can buy these Chaos Stones from the NPC by paying the gold. On the second page, you can see two lines of Chaos Stones. The first option requires 500 gold, and the price starts to rise by 100 gold for every two purchases. And as you can see, there's a 10 times of a limitation for every week. The second option does not have weekly limitation, and it straight up requires 1k gold for every purchase. Well, I'm not sure if this feature is gonna come out to the west as it is in KR, because you guys already have some features that's different from us, right? Like Crystalline Aura. So I think there might be a chance for this feature to change for you guys. But if it comes out as same, then I recommend you guys not to buy these uh, especially the second option right here because obviously you're gonna burn up your gold by a lot so do not hurry and just take your time and spend your gold on somewhere else all right let's try to upgrade my armor by buying one stone um if you see here my patch quality is 0, and the success rate is 97%, whereas my weapon, which has 27 quality, has 41% of success rate. So you can tell that the higher your quality is, the lower the success rate is. If I fail, then that's just a fail wasting these resources, but if I succeed, then my weapon, for instance, uh, since the quality is 27, it gets a random chance to be upgraded between 28 and 100. So let's try to upgrade my pants since it has the highest odd. It's gonna succeed, but the point is to where it's gonna lead me into. Here we go. Alright, so from 0, it is increased to 20 and let's see this success rate from now on it is 53.4 percent so this is how the quality upgrade works and there's one important thing that you guys must know well some people might ask me isn't it better to recraft the relic gear uh, rather than going for these rows of rng on quality upgrade well the answer is no because according to the study made from some Koreans, going through the odd of the success rate and going for the odd of which quality to get is 
same as the art of getting quality by recrafting, which means if you recraft, then you're just spending more gold, which is bad. You do get the Vulcan or Vikis mats returned when you dismantle, but still, if you compare the things, well, it's more expensive, the recraft. So you should refrain from recrafting relic gears if the reason is because of the quality. Well guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.